Welcome to the NARS Architects. This is Cloister House, a house designed by Formworks Architects. This house is located in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. The house is built for a client and his extended family who seeks a communal way of living but cherishes privacy and security in Leisure Farm Estate, Johor Bahru. The family entertains frequently and needed the house to be generous when hosting huge parties and cozy with smaller affairs. Moving from Singapore, the family was exhilarated with the prospect of living off on an immensely large plot of land in the open countryside while deeply paranoia of the safety across the straits, confronted with the context. We were gripped with the intuition to fortify and the preoccupation with flatness. Considering the size of the plot, it came to us almost immediately to build a single-story mansion. Jeffrey Bower's house on 33rd Lane in Colombo and the house of the Fawn in Pompeii, 2nd century AC, were references that were instrumental in the formulation of the plan in the early stages. From the street, the house looks understated, almost unapologetically flat, revealing little of the interior except for the facete, sloping timber ceiling that hangs within. The 5M tall walls fortify the interior and encapsulate the roofs that slope inwards to the courtyards. Within the compound, the main bulk of the house, where communal living and entertaining occurs, is compacted over a third of the plot size, freeing up a vast expanse of space for a back garden. Paul, and an annex block that houses the immediate family's quarters. The main space is spatially delineated into nine subgrids, punctuated with a series of courtyards. The courtyards were essential for the otherwise deep plan to work, as they bring natural daylight and ventilation to every part of the house. Each courtyard is unique, differentiated by the varied sizes and placement within its respective subzones. Each has a different garden that responds to the differing openness to the sky and the way rain gathers and free fall into the courtyards from the varying roof slopes which are geometrically determined by the courtyard's placement and dimension. The living spaces are clustered, organically arranged, and rearranged over time, weaving freeing amongst the interspersed cloister. A dominant interior feature that characterizes the different, Interconnected cloistered spaces is the multifaceted, merba timber ceiling that slopes from the high ridges towards the courtyards. At nightfall, fragments of these undulations are revealed through a glass strip of the facade, revealing the intricacy within. <laughs>